Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing this awesome Spider-Man face paint of his mask. So if you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see on the next video down below. So for this one, to start off the mask, I started off with the eye holes and just to make sure that I had both sides even, I drew this little dot. Um, and then I started drawing out the actual shape of his mask. So when you get to the inside corner, you want to kind of give yourself a little bit of room um, because when I did this, I did it a little bit too close. But basically, you're just going to draw out this basic shape that realistically could go for a lot of superheroes. <laughs> And this would be the reason why I tell you guys to outline stuff in white, just because it's a lot easier and you don't get like a really annoying streak of black. <laughs> the white kind of blends a little bit better. And yeah, once you have that shape, then you can go ahead and draw the outer kind of outline. Because he has kind of like a black outline around the eye hole, and then the inside is white. So you can just do that. And this is what I meant about making sure that you give yourself a little bit of room. Just saying. And then once you have that shape filled in, you can go ahead and start filling it in with black. Now, if your brush is too small, you can always switch to a bigger one. I'm just stubborn. And <laughs> yeah. But once you fill that in, you should look like you have the beginnings of like Catwoman, Spider-Man, almost every Marvel <laughs> hero that has a mask. And then you can go ahead and start painting your face red. And for this I use a cream makeup. You guys can use like water-based stuff. Um, you can use lipstick if you really want to. Granted that will stain a bit, but just giving you options. And try to be as careful as you can be when it comes to getting around the mask because you don't want to blend the black into the red and have like this weird burgundy color. Personal experience! Yeah! And then once you have your face painted red, then you can start drawing in the webs. And for this, I found that the easiest way to do it is to just have a picture of Spider-Man there that you can kind of go off of. It doesn't have to be exact, because my face shape is not the same as Spider-Man's, just saying. But getting it as close as you can, depending on how realist or how um, cosplay you want it to be, it depends entirely up to you. Webs. And if you think that this is way too much work you don't want to do that whatever you can see if they have like a morph suit mask <laughs> maybe they have one of spider-man <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if they do to be completely honest but this is a lot more fun and hard work pays off and you feel proud of yourself because you turn yourself into spider-man not have like a suit that's kind of cheating yeah i'm gonna go with that <laughs> And if you mess up, you can always fix it. There's no shame in fixing things. And then once you have that done, I went ahead and put a little bit of primer on and around my eyes just because I knew my lids are gonna crease. And then you can just take a white face paint and put this all up in that space. Try to be as precise as you can because, again, you don't want to get any of the black into the white. That's not cute. Spider-Man does not have little black streaks in the thing. For this, if you need a smaller brush to get into the creases because you picked the biggest brush that you own, then you can do that. And then what I did afterwards was I just set it with some eyeshadow and because I didn't block out my eyebrows I had to like put a lot of white to kind of make them go away but 
set it with some white eyeshadow and you can set the rest of your face as well if you want I did because yeah <laughs> And that's it. This look is super easy and it looks super freaking cool. Sorry I didn't do the whole body paint thing. But yeah. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. And leave me a request below. Tell me what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.